This question is going to come in parts. So here's the first question, second question, third question, fourth question, and fifth question. So five questions. So the first part says Annexure C, which is this in the pie charts, um, shows tourists from other countries to South Africa in 2019 and 2020. Okay, let me explain just in case you don't understand. So, okay, so in 2019, this is how many tourists there were, nearly 2 million. And we can see that, and these people are all coming to South Africa. So we can see that Switzerland was accounted for 3% of all of the people. Germany was 17.5%. There's France, Netherlands, Australia. Okay, you get the idea. This is the same type of thing in 2020. A lot less tourists. We all know why, hey? The year 2020. So, the first question says, name another type of graph that you could use to display the information. So you could use like a bar graph, for example, Okay, um, and how would that look, just out of interest? So you could have like, for example, Australia over here, and then India, for example, and then you would have two graphs, uh, like one for 2020 and one for 2019, for example. And then the, for India, you would do the same, one for 2019, one for 2020. Um, so you could also call this, because we're using two graphs or two things, two bars next to each other, we also call that a compound so another way you could probably show this is with like some type of cool bar graph. So I'll show you how it would look. You could start with like Australia, for example. These numbers here on the left would be your percentages. And then, so for example, you could show Australia in 2019. And then immediately next to that, you could show Australia in 2020, for example. Then you could leave a little gap and then you could do India or something like that. And then you would do 2019 for India and then 2020 for, um, yeah, India in 2020. So that is called a compound bar graph. Okay, uh, you could also use a line graph. So for example, you would have Australia and then you would have your percentages, and then you would just go like that, and that would be like your 2019 line, and then you could have like a, another one, which would be like your 2020 line. So you could also use a line graph. This question says, identify the country that had the least number of visitors in 2020. So we'll go to 2020, and we'll just look for the number that is the lowest. So it looks like it is Switzerland. 3.3, so it says identify the country, that would be Switzerland. This question says, Inako said that 435,582 tourists came from the UK in 2019. Show all calculations to see whether this is correct. Now, let's go um, to 2019, go to the UK, uh-oh, there's nothing there, but that's okay. Because what we can do is we need to realize that in a pie chart, all of these percentages are going to add up to, well done, 100%. So we could go and say 100% and we could take away all the other numbers, 17.5 for, for Germany, 20.5 for USA, 9, 8, uh, 6, 4 for Brazil, 5, 3.6 for Canada, and 3 for Switzerland. Go work that out and you end up with 23,4. So that means that the UK would have to be 23.4. So the UK would be 23.4%. Now what we can do is look at the total number of tourists and we can see what 23.4% of that is. So we could say 23.4 over 100, multiply by 1848412. And if we had to work that out, we end up with um, 432528.41. Um, but let's just round that down to 432528. 432, um, let me write that a bit better, 528. So the friend of Nako is actually wrong. It's close, but it's not exact. So uh, statement is not correct. Statement not correct. This question says, determine the probability as a decimal 
um, of randomly selecting a tourist from a country that shows neither a decrease or an increase in number of visitors. Now, they didn't ask this question really nicely, but what they meant was in terms of percentage. Um, they want to, so, because, okay, I don't want to get too technical here, but you see how the total tourist number is different. So yes, uh, here the Germany, here Germany was 17.5 and here Germany was 22.2. So the percentage is different, but that might not mean that the number of people is different because here it's 22.2% of that amount and here it's 17.5% of that amount. But I had to go check the memo and they weren't talking about the number of people actually. They were talking about uh, which countries have the same percentage. So for example, France is 9% for both of them. Okay, so it says determine the probability, and, and that's the only country that stayed the same. So it says determine the probability of randomly selecting a tourist from a country that shows neither a decrease or an increase. Well, out of 100% that you could have chosen from, either there or there, um, to choose France would be um, 9, 9 out of 100 Okay, so out of a total of 100%, um, France was 9%. So you could say 9 out of 100, and as a decimal, 0 0.09. And then this question says, give one possible reason why there was a decrease in the number of tourists from other countries in 2020 compared to 2019. Well, this is obviously due to COVID restrictions, okay? So in the year 2020, that's when COVID hit us. So um, because of that, there would be less tourists. So we could just say COVID, COVID-19.